with me to the book of Acts. Acts, the fourth chapter. I'm going to read verses 31 through 37. Acts, the fourth chapter, verses 31 through 37. Now hear these words. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions were their own. But they shared everything they had. With great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there were no needy persons among them. For from time to time, those who owned land or house or sold them, and they brought the money from the sales and put it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to anyone who had need. Joseph, a, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, he sold a field he owned, and he brought the money, and he put it at the apostles' feet. This is the word of God for you, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Would you bow with me for the word of God, we thank you now for all that has already occurred in this place. We thank you, O oh God, for what it means that we have been ushered into your presence through the singing of the songs of Zion. Thank you for the prayers that we've been able to pray together. We thank you for that moment, O oh God, when we had the opportunity to stand, to, to greet each other, to touch each other, to be reminded that we have an opportunity to be like you, Jesus, for you touched your people. You're not a God that sits high and only looks low, but you are a God who decided to put on flesh and to come to walk with us and to talk with us, to remind us that we are yours and you are ours. And then now, God, we thank you for bringing us to this sermonic moment in our worship. Praying that you would continue to open up the windows of heaven. And that you would send down a blessing that is so great that we cannot conceive of it all. Lord, we pray this morning, still in this day, that unless the preacher comes, there can be no preaching in this place. So come on, Holy Ghost. Have thy own way. Speak, Lord. For we, your people, are listening. Speak, Lord. We, your people, are listening. We pray this prayer and all of Lord, we call it sweet because we taste it. And we know you are a good God. So in the sweet, sweet name of the living God, we as your sons and your daughters, we say amen. 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 So again, our text today comes from the book of Acts. Acts, the fourth chapter. Verses 31 through 37. Now this past week, you should have received an email that Miss Mary sent out for me that was entitled, Exciting Times at Wesley. And such exciting times are rooted in the fact that unlike any other time since I have been your pastor, our leadership has worked diligently to create a vision statement, we have a mission statement to have core values that identify who Wesley is and a five-year plan that will guide us in both our present and our future. Each of you should have received a copy of this plan as you came in today. And if you did not, make sure you raise your hand and one of our ushers or greeters will get this plan to you. But if you should have received it, you also should have it via email. But 
investing. Some of us, we consume so much that we get constipated. There is no movement because all you do is eat, eat, eat. Father, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit,